conflicted on this one because um, I know he's a person of faith because I watched his documentary, um, Mitt, on Netflix, if you ever see it. And in, what struck me in that documentary was he was obsessed with not being a loser after he lost in 2012. In fact, he said he didn't want to be, quote, branded a loser for life. And then he met with President Trump, I think as we all remember, at John George and he had frog legs. legs. He was yeah. angling to get a Secretary of State cabinet position. Mm -hmm. He ultimately was not given it. So now I, I don't think, I, I like when anyone bucks a party. I will always respect mm -hmm. it. And I think it took big cojones to do that yesterday. But it doesn't take that much profiles and courage right now to vote against something that is not going to have any impact. I mean, President Trump was acquitted yesterday. And I just think Mitt Romney, I want to trust him, but would he still feel this way if Trump had given him his Secretary of State position? Who can I don't say? know. And Who can say? His history of a flip-flopper for people like me, I'm never going to trust him. I'm never going to 100% trust him because, again, there are some of us, I never met with President Trump. I wasn't angling for a cabinet position. I mean, I wouldn't get one anyway, but, like, I, and there are politicians that didn't do that. But I, but I And I think disagree. right now the idea that he, like, woke up and found his conscience no, in the I don't think he, church I don't think he, listen, I I'm just glad somebody stood up and said no. But that's yeah. fine. But, uh, and I don't, but and, what he wants, like, but that's what he wants. But that's okay. You know what? I have his, I'm going to give, I'm going to give faith in him, him like I gave you to your dad. A week ago. I don't, I'm giving I don't, faith. With all due respect, Mitt Romney's I'm, nothing like my dad. I am giving as much faith <clears throat> because I don't agree with Mitt Romney, <clears throat> but he stood up in a way that nobody else has except for your dad. So but I'm saying to you, the idea that that's I'm, for me. But I'm just saying, don't put all your bets on Romney right now. I don't will put, break your heart no, no, like listen, he always does. I am 63 years old. I have been going through this with these people for years. I am simply I'm saying. I'm 35 years old. Yes, I mean, and, you're, and you're half my age. So I hear what I know. I don't know what that means. Hear what I know. know. That's very but dismissive. For me, That's very dismissive. I, it I is a bit and I, dismissive but I don't because what my age has to do with my political perspective right well, now. Well, I'm trying to tell you <laughs> that I have. I just don't think it's very nice. <laughs> I'm not trying to be crappy. I'm just saying to you. I, you know what? That, I knew when oh I came on here and didn't like Romney, I knew it was going to happen. Can I just say happen. one Wait, thing no, about no, 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 Let me, let me finish happen. this. No. This has nothing to do personally I knew it was happen. with you. This has to do with the fact that when you say to me, don't put all your eggs in the back. That's that's dismissive to me. But I know hurts. that's you not how you hate meant him it. him half the time. You hate him. I, I, I hate you him. Wait, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I've talk. never hated Joy anybody. Hated Mitt Romney. Yeah, but that's not me. I'm. The, I know we okay, look I don't, alike. I, don't. <laughs> I know we look alike. Can we talk alike and we, like we sing alike. You did you dance with Can him. Can I just say wedding. one thing? Yes. Number one, I never hated anybody. I hate Trump. Oh come on, you hate Mitch McConnell more than anybody. Wait, wait, no. Wait a second. Wait a second. When we come back, we'll come back to who we, who we hate. We'll come right back.